I'm an Asian woman with dark toned skin living in Pakistan. As a child I was told I wasn't beautiful because of my skin tone. I hated myself so much that I couldn't even look in the mirror. I started using whitening creams when I was 13 years old and after so many years I still cannot stop using them. I know they're dangerous but I can't help myself, I can't even step outside my room until I've applied an instant fairness cream. I've used Fair and Lovely, Nirvana Botanics Whitening Serum, Meglo Premium Fairness Cream and many more, and I'd like to share my story. I was first exposed to this idea that fair skin is more beautiful than my original color when I was 5 years old. I had an aunt and she just straight off told my mother that this one is going to be hard to marry off for you because this one has dark skin. And that was the first time I was exposed to the idea, but as I kept on growing I noticed on screen there were only fair skinned actors everywhere. Even if they were Pakistani actors who had a dull complexion before, when they entered the industry, suddenly they got so fair skinned and their skin was glowing. It wasn't representative of what we were, of what I was or what my skin color was. So I thought maybe that being different in that sense is wrong. I thought I didn't fit in this society and I had this idea in my mind since I was 5 years old. That idea, it kept growing. The seed was there in my society and everyone around me just kept watering it and watering it until I reached age 13 and I'd had enough, so I looked for whitening creams and started using them. I felt like I was bullied because everywhere I went, I had an elder sister who had fair skin, a rosy complexion, and everyone loved her from childhood. Everyone used to say that these clothes, this particular frock would look good on her because she's light skinned. And I only had a few colors to pick from, the reasoning being because only a few colors would go well with my skin. I felt sad. When I was 6 years old, I didn't like my pictures being taken. I have no pictures from the ages of 6 to 10 because I had the idea that I didn't look good in pictures because I didn't have fair skin. Sadly there wasn't anyone to help me counter this belief. Not a single person. Not even my own mother. It's sad to say this but she never defended me in front of people who would bully me regarding my skin tone. And everyone always used to tell me if you use this product, you will get fair, you will look more pretty. So why is fair skin so important in our society? In my opinion it goes way back to the establishment of the East India Company. People in our society, they attribute fair color with superiority, right? They were made into second-class citizens, and so they attributed fair color with things like better housing jobs and lifestyle. I think it is all an inferiority complex. Even though colonialism is a thing of the past, we're still stuck in that inferiority complex. We're still stuck there and it's passed down from generation to generation. I mean it's been way too long since 1947, that's a long time, but I've seen that our mothers are passing it down the generations. They are not breaking the chain. They are not breaking the cycle. They are passing it down. Even now I have a child and he's a boy, but still everyone is asking me to put fairness creams on him. That's the unfortunate thing about our society. Fair skin girls for example, everything's easy for them. I don't know if I should be saying this but I had a class fellow, we were both studying in the same grade when we graduated. I had a CGPA of 3.89, and she had a CGPA of 2. She failed most of her subjects but when we applied for the same position in a particular company, she got the job after her interview. The company's justification was, we need a certain type of face to represent our organization. And I asked them what are your requirements for that position and they said the girl has to be skinny and fair skinned, she has to be beautiful. It was a front desk job, like when you enter the company and you see the beautiful ladies working there. That's what their mentality was. This kind of practice happens under the books, off the records, but it is being applied. Even for a back office job the policy will be the same. The men here, they like to be surrounded by quote unquote beautiful women. And in their minds, a beautiful woman is someone who's fair, someone who's slim. I think people are brought up this way. I was 5 when I was told that no men would like me because I'm not fair. So that's the thinking we are putting into our little girls' minds, that their only goal in life is to please a man. You're telling them that their skin tone is not good enough and you're also telling them you need to please a man in your life to be successful.
Another problem is mental health is a very big taboo here. If you feel like you need to go to a therapist for help, people will start terming you mental. There is no space for venting off your emotions. There is no safe space here. You cannot talk about your emotions, all it does is keep building up inside us. We also don't talk to friends about skin whitening. Recommending products for example, is not a part of anyone's conversation because we want to show everyone that no, we're not using anything to lighten our complexion, our complexion is fair by birth. So in a society that's so pressurized, people want to leave. People in the current generation, say the people born from 1995 onwards, they have this thinking. They want to escape this society or they want to change it. The elders, which are the real issue here, they are still reluctant, they don't see anything wrong or harmful in their ways. They don't see how they are disrupting the peace of society, they don't see it. But the younger generation, that generation wants to escape. They are always looking for safe routes to get out of this society. Some people start labeling them as opportunists, but I think they are really just desperate, just desperate to escape. In terms of health risks, I know many whitening creams have high levels of mercury, some are toxic levels. These creams can cause all kinds of health issues such as skin cancer, kidney damage and causing the upper layer of your skin to thin. I know all this but I cannot stop myself from using the whitening creams. It's like a habit now. I think if I don't use them, if I don't have fair skin, society will not accept me. It's like an addiction. I tried to stop when I joined my university, I did stop using them for a while but then my skin had such a bad reaction because even my skin was used to them, to all the harmful effects. I had the worst breakout, I would be itchy, I started getting rashes, and then I had to go to a doctor to get treatment. And the skin specialist advised me under no circumstances to ever use any whitening cream again, but I still have it on my desk right now. And so the reason I don't stop is because I think I will not be able to be successful in this society. I think I will fail as a mother, fail as a person, fail as a Pakistani, I will fail. And then I won't have anywhere to fit in. If I go out like this I think people will judge me. I don't like to be judged and if I'm out like this, anyone who just looks at me casually, I just start thinking he or she is judging me for not having fair skin. And it goes way back, back to when I was 5 years old when my aunt told me I'm not beautiful because I don't have fair skin. So it's very difficult to change your mentality. The mentality you had growing up, in those early years when everything could influence you. It's very difficult to change this thinking. I am trying to change it but then once in a while I get an auntie telling me I'm not fair or even a passing comment from someone I don't know, they'll ask if I've tried this cream. Have you tried that cream? Look at your dark circles. You don't take care of yourself. I even get comments like your husband will get interested in someone else because you don't look after yourself. So that's the kind of pressure we are facing here. Will I ever stop using whitening creams? I think it is going to happen one day. I'm really trying to change my mentality. I'm trying to tell myself that it does not matter whether society accepts me or not. If they cannot accept me the way I am, then I do not need to change for them. I'm trying to get there. I think I will but it will take a lot of time. My child, he's just two right now but I'm actively parenting him towards this thinking. I'm always encouraging him and being positive. People think that kids cannot learn at this age, but I think this is the age they learn the most. We did not have active parents. That's the worst problem we had. They were not active about how we were thinking, how we were feeling. For them it was about their own feelings and they wanted to project their feelings onto us. I was told by my parents that if you want us to feel happy you have to study this subject, so I studied something I wasn't interested in. And the pressure I took for those studies, I ended up in the hospital twice. But I still had to do that because I wanted to please them. There's more awareness now in people. I don't blame my parents, I don't blame anyone from that generation because they had no awareness. In today's world we have so many means like the internet. You can type anything and get our answers. They did not have this luxury. So I do not blame them, I don't blame them at all. So, projecting feelings onto my child, this is something I'm not going to do. This is something I'm going to break. I'm planning to not inculcate any type of this thinking in my child.
I hope the next generation can at least live life without these insecurities.